Hey, we're back. <laughs> Brian, where am I camping next week? So, Dad, where are we camping next week? <laughs> well, let's hope the weather pans out. But the plan is, which is the first part, it's going to definitely happen. You and I are going to go on up to Kettle Moraine North. In Wisconsin. Wisconsin, right. And uh, that's along the Ice Age Trail. Uh, and so we're going to start up in the northern part of Kettle Moraine North kind of by the Sheboygan area. All right. Uh, we're going to park uh, kind of near shelter number four where there's a observation tower and a couple of facilities and things like that. We're going to then hike north to shelter number five and camp out. It's going to be cold. Yes. And then that morning I'm going to leave. And then, right. So then we wake up the next morning, we'll have breakfast, and we're gonna hike back to shelter four where the car was, make whatever last minute changes I need. You will head back to Chicago. If I'm heading back to Chicago, what does that mean for you? It means I'm gonna be walking. You're gonna be walking, tell me more. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'm gonna be doing about 40 miles, plus or minus, well, definitely probably plus, not minus. <laughs> at least 40 miles south from there so i'll cover the entirety of kettle moraine north uh and below that a little bit uh, so, so we're going to go down the shelter list so we're you, know, you and i are going to start with shelter five together yeah we're going to go down to shelter four part ways you're back to chicago for a week i'll stay the night at shelter four then shelter three okay two one nice then there's a dispersed camping area as it's called a DCA uh, I also call that a designated camping area but it's dispersed in their lingo yeah and uh, then that'll take me to Tuesday all right Wednesday uh, so actually ironically the last day is the longest hike to a hotel because there's no camping sites uh, and then you'll come back up and meet me. We'll do another day 40. hike. Right, and then we can choose how we've kind of like, you know, done Kettle Moraine North. So we might go a little south and do part of Kettle Moraine South. Right. For that. And if we can camp, if the weather's nice enough, maybe we camp a night. Makes sense to do that. So what you're saying is that you're going to be hiking for about a week straight on the Ice Age Trail. Uh, my understanding is the Ice Age Trail is about a thousand miles of trail in Wisconsin. Uh, it is unrecognized, so the trails can go in and out of private property. Yeah. Um, so, but there are shelters, there are recognized shelters along the way. Those are what you're going to be staying at between days. Yeah, there's uh, also normal state parks and whatnot that along it goes the way. Through? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, I mean, Kettle Moraine has a couple of normal camping areas just on the edges, not necessarily on the Ice Age Trail, where the shelters are on the Ice Age Trail. Gotcha. Uh, cool. Well, that's really exciting. And uh, last thing before we turn the video off, uh, how do you feel about it so far, right now? Well, uh, that's a good question. Obviously, I got my pack on today. That's We're great. Doing, doing a warm-up. This is not a full pack. It's a light pack. But uh, we're going to get some miles in and see how I do on... Uh, mixed media terrain the snow back and forth between snow limestone which is just great i love the soft limestone we were talking about this this right here my whole life could be walking on wet limestone like this <laughs> my bones would be very happy uh so we're gonna see how you know we are seeing how i'm doing here uh here's a particularly icy part and uh, what else are we doing? Kind I have of another question. Last minute prep. Oh, I didn't really answer your question. I just started talking around. <laughs> How do you feel about it? This is uh, what's interesting about this is because it's March, I'm more nervous about the temperature and, and the 20, 18 hours where I'm not hiking. Everybody's like, you know, oh, there's no problem You're doing eight or 10 or whatever miles a day. You'll stay warm. Yeah. For those five, six hours. 
that that's going to take me. And I'm going to obviously make it as long as I can. It's not the hike I'm worried about because the distance isn't that long per day. But it's the other 18 hours that i got to stay warm. I'm not carrying firewood with me. So, My second question for you okay. is, why are you doing it? Why are you, that may why be are more you hiking for a week? More a better question. More a better question. I love more better questions. <laughs> uh, you know, I've really wanted to do some longer through hikes for a, a while. Uh, in the last couple of years, we've, I've done a number of three and four days. Really haven't gotten to, in the last couple of years, to seven days. And, uh, you know, I'd like to do that. Uh, obviously, 2020 was a complete disaster. Oh, I think there's a deer up here. Um, as far as traveling and trying to do some, some of the trail hikes. So it's early 2021. I mean, this is about as fast as I can hit a long trail. And uh, it's, you know, it's Wisconsin. I got a buddy who lives probably a half hour away. If I'm having trouble, you're two hours away if I'm having trouble. Right. There's civilization. There's some bailout points. So I think it's a, although it's cold, it's going to be reasonably safe for me to do, but I just got to get out there. I got to, I got to be on the trail. I'm just, Excellent. Excellent. I turned into one of those people that has to spend time just walking. That's great. And, uh, any last any last things for the video? Not really. Uh, no, I mean, it's a pretty good yeah. long video. <laughs> if you think of anything else, we'll make a part two. Yeah, of course, I'll be filming when I'm walking. All right. Peace.